Cool TV proudly presents Kentucky Christian University softball as the Cool Hit Sports Network brings you coverage of the KCU Knights live from Grayson, Kentucky. Now let's head to the Grayson Sports Park for KCU softball action live on Cool TV. Welcome back to Grayson, Kentucky on this Saturday afternoon as we're ready to start game number two of two. Of course, in the first game, Johnson, Tennessee defeated KCU 7-6. Uh, regrouped, everybody got a snack, they repainted the field, raked the field, looks good. We'll take a break, we'll be back on Cool TV. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Fall hunting season is here, and Border Sporting Goods has your best selection of Hoyt and Matthews bows as well as 10-point crossbows with a full selection of accessories for all your hunting needs. Borders also offers a full selection of shotguns and rifles with plenty of ammunition and reloading supplies, along with a wide selection of benchmark and case knives. Borders is your headquarters for the largest selection of Liberty gun safes in the area, no matter how big or small you need to keep your firearms safe. Before your next hunting excursion, stop by and stock up at Border Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescriptions. This one misses high, one and one. One 
one and two. Good looking pitch there. Count goes two and two. This one misses high and a little bit away. Game time temperature 49 degrees with a feel like a 42 per the Weather Channel app with wind gusts between 20 and 40 miles an hour. Our producer, Travis Otworth, over here with his left hand on the TV to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Swung on a missed. Jeffers goes down on strikes, and here comes Morehouse. Now coming to bat, number five, Audrey Morehouse. Misses, 1-0. This one hit right at the second baseman who feels it. Throw to first. Safe. I think she was too. Throw not in time. Morehouse runs it out now for an infield single. Four, Ella Hampton. Here comes Hampton. One on and one out. The way the wind's blowing, it'll favor a left-handed batter, but we've seen the most success today, Travis, out of right-handed batters, which is odd considering the wind is blowing from left to right. This one misses, 1-0. at first. Here's the pitch. Throw down the second. Just took the shortstop a little far off to the left. The throw from the catcher and Jeffers, excuse me, Morehouse will be in with a stolen base. 2 and to count the plate. The runner in scoring position and one away at the top of the first. Here's the pitch. So misses also. 3-0. This one doesn't miss, 3-1. This one's a hard hit ball to left field, tracking as the left fielder, the play is made. And there's two away here in the top of the first. Now coming to bat, number 21, Megan Armstrong. comes Armstrong, who last time she took the plate in the first inning, she only hit a three-run home run. Opposite field. It's a hard hit ball, it's a fair ball. Oh, they're gonna call foul, it's close. Of course, uh, umpire Bill Heberlin had a better view than any of us. Just right of the bag. Bullet dodge there by KCU because if it's fair, Johnson, Tennessee's getting on the board because that's rolling all the way to the far corner. And there's no way you get it in time. Get the throw in in time to get the runner out at home. 0 oh 1. Good stop by the first baseman who stays with it. It's going to be close at the bag. What a play by the first baseman who dove and touches home, uh, first base, and that'll end the top half of the first. We'll go to the bottom of the first here on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call can get your house ready for any occasion. 
You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Back out here on Cool TV, we're in the bottom half of inning number one. Lavis will take the plate first, followed by Alfred Prince, Holtzclaw, Ison, Breckler, Holman, Laby, and Mathis as a lineup for KCU. Now batting for KCU. Caitlin, number 27, Caitlin Mavis. Oh God, it's Friday. Here's the pitch, squaring the bunt. This one misses low and outside, 1-0. Look at pitch there, good plate discipline, count goes 2-0. This is inside, 3-0 and quickly. Don't think you'd have the green light this early in the game with a 3-0 count, so expect the fastball right down the middle and no swing. This one's called strike. 3-1. Ooh, strike two call. This one catches the outside part of the plate. Starting to get worried about a monitor over here on the right. It's uh, this one's a hard hit ball over the left field. Tough play. It's going to drop right in front of the left fielder. Rounding first, going to second, and this ball's going to be backed up, but not after the leadoff batter. Lavis is going to go all the way to third. Here's Alfred. So good start there by the Lady Knights. Nothing left handed batter here. Should have an advantage with this wind. This one misses outside. Well, no. Side, 2 0. So that missed 2 1. This one chopped. In the infield, right to the second baseman. Throw home, and everybody's safe. Now coming to bat, number 17, A.C. Prince. So Alfred will reach on a fielder's choice. Here comes Prince. Who finished two for two in their last game with a double and a single, hit by a pitch, and was walked. Swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Still no outs, KC leads 1 0. Counts 
one and one. This is also two and one. Gets away from the catcher, going to second throw is going to be not in time. Swung on and fouled away. Pitch, another foul. Travis, you might end up with a souvenir for too long. I'll tell you what. We're going to find out what kind of company man you are. If a ball really came towards the equipment, how much are you willing to risk? <laughs> <laughs> this one's popped up in the infield. Play made by the shortstop. No, and there's one away. Here's Holt's claw. With one away, one run already across. Runner on second. On the bottom half of any number one. This one misses inside, one and oh. On and miss one on one. Two on one. Two's the count. This one hit over to the shortstop, checks the runner, throw it to first, there's two away. Now coming to bat, number 21, Hannah Ison. Here comes Ison. I see you right. Don't you do it right. We just get started. Yeah, man. Called strike 0-1. Hard hit ball. It's going to get in between the third baseman and the shortstop. Bobbled in the outfield. It's going to score a run. RBI single for Ison. Now to bat, number 16, Tory Beckler. Here comes Beckler. Casey, you already put two runs across here in the bottom half of any number one. Looking pitch, 0 and 1. This one chopped foul. Count goes 0 and 2. The 
misses on the outside part of the plate, two and two. Swung on a miss, and that'll end inning number one. We'll head to the top of the second, but not after KCU puts two across here on Cool TV. <laughs> Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size, with a wide selection of tackle for Bird Loop, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Border Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start inning number two. KCU leading Johnson, Tennessee, two to nothing. Two up at the plate is Kaywood, Dickerson, and Duke. Number 15. Autumn Kaywood. outside one and oh the wind has been relentless here in game number two. <laughs> oh, nice one o's the count here's the pitch breaking ball too low two and oh There, two and one. This one foul, excuse me, popped right up in the infield. Play is made, and there's one away. Here comes Dickerson. Dirt one and oh. Breaking ball, two and oh. Also, Cal goes 3-0. Four pitches, four balls. Dickerson will grab first base for a walk, and here comes Duke. So 
One on, one out for Johnson. Trailing 2-0 here in the top half of the second inning. This one is blooped in the outfield. It's carrying, carrying, and the center fielder makes the play and retreating to first is Dickerson. There's two away. Here is Burns. Burns and Hood, the eight and nine batters of Johnson, then top the lineup. So this is outside. One and zero. Also misses. 2-0. Two, oh. Two away. Oh, what a breaking ball there. Really good looking breaking ball there. 2-1. Two and two with two outs. Big pitch here for KCU. So just misses. Full count. Hard hit ball that's going to go over top of the shortstop's head into the outfield. So Burns will be on with a single. Not coming to Here back comes Hood. 14, Maddie Hood. This is 2 1. This was chopped over the shortstop, throws over to second, and that'll end the top half of the second. No damage done. It's still 2 0. KCU. We'll be back on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. 
Back out here on Cool TV, ready to get the bottom of the second inning underway. KC were able to put two across the plate in the last bottom half of the inning. Now coming to bat, number three, Lexi Holman. Holman, Lapey, and Mathis do up this inning for the Lady Knights. Count goes 0 and 2. So misses outside. 1 and 2. Good crowd on hand here on this Saturday afternoon. This is low, two and two. KCU trying to win game number two, falling to Johnson, Tennessee seven to six in game one. Where four went across the plate in the top half of the first. This one fouled out of play. Also, swung on a missed. She goes down on strikes. Here comes Leba. This one misses high and outside, 1-0. One, one away here in the bottom half of inning number two. On a very windy Saturday afternoon. Notice you've kind of taken your hand off that monitor over there, so the wind must be doing a little bit better anyways. Now to that, number nine. This one's got hit Laby and he'll put one on with one out. I'm living in that 21st century, Mathis. doing something mean to it, do it better than anybody you ever seen. And then do the top of the lineup. Two knows the count with one away, a runner on first. KCU leading two nothing. Now go down to strike, two and one. Three and one. Play. 
Full count. Fouled right back at us. Travis flinched again. You see me flinch at all? Didn't even move, Travis. I don't think I can move fast enough to flinch anyways. <laughs> Full count still, one on, one out. Here's the pitch. Fouled away again. Okay, I'm, I'm counting on you. Of course, a big shout out to Ian Farmer over there on the first base camera. Done a great job today and as always. This one's fouled away. So, Mathis goes down on strikes. Didn't get a very late strike three call. So, there's two down and top the lineup. Slavis tripled her last time. So, this is outside and low, 1-0. Fouled away. One and two. So it's in the dirt. Two and two. Two and two, excuse me, full count now. Big pitch here. This one gets her. Man, I'll tell you what, when you get hit by a pitch Not coming to back. today, it stinks more than normal. That's the second lady not to get hit by a pitch thus far. Here's Alford, who reached on a fielder's choice her last time. This one hit right at the third baseman, who bobbles it, bobbles it, throw to first, not in time. Throw to third, it's gonna go past the third baseman. Another run will score. It's now three nothing. So the throw to first base was not in time. The first baseman tried to throw it over to third. Third baseman wasn't ready for it. It goes right past her, all the way to the fence. And here comes Prince. With two runners in scoring position and a three nothing lead. So this is high. One to know. Two away here in the bottom half of inning number two. A 
This one's a hard hit ball. Tracking, tracking, off the wall. Two runs will score for sure. Prince rounds first and will be in there for a stand-up double. Coming to bat number 28, Darren Holtzclaw. Here's Holtzclaw. Drowned out here last time. It's now five to nothing, KCU. This one way inside. Prince is gonna hold his second. It's a ball kind of scooted away from the catcher. Two knows the count with two away. Two runs went across the plate in the bottom half of the first. Three here in the bottom half of the second. That's where we sit. Five nothing. In case you trying to add to it here. This one doesn't miss. Two and one. Well gone and missed. Count goes two and two. This one fouled away. You flinched again, Travis. I saw just a slight flinch as this one's fouled right back at us. If it makes you feel any better, I flinched a little bit there too. <laughs> if that net wasn't there, we'd be – listen, I'm not real worried about me. The equipment is what I'm worried about. Count goes full. Out of play. So the pitch count continues to climb with KCU fighting off pitches. This one's a little blooper in the outfield, and the play is made by the center fielder. That'll end any number two, but not after three more come across the plate. It's the end of the five to nothing. KCU leads over Johnson, Tennessee. We'll be back on Cool TV. JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with the vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answers to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start inning number three. KCU with a 5 nothing lead over Johnson, Tennessee, after falling to the Royals 7-6 to six in game one. Of course, this is game two of two. So, top.
top of the lineup here for Johnson. Jeffers is at the play, who struck out her last time. This one hits straight up the middle, takes a bounce and goes into the outfield. So Jeffers will be on with a single. Here comes Morehouse. Not coming too bad, number five, Audrey Morehouse. Who had a single and a stolen base her last time. But was left stranded. Squares the butt. Runner goes. Throw to second. And she's in there. So Jeffers will be credited a stolen base. Second on the day for Johnson. Morehouse at the plate. Counts 1-0. Oh, no outs. In the top of the third. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. No one's covering third. So squaring the bunt, third baseman had to charge home plate, and no one was over there to third. So another stolen base. This one, a little blooper that's not able to, the play is not able to be made by the second baseman. Tough play. I think it'll have to go down as an error, though. Here comes Hampton, who flew out her last time. Now Johnson puts one across the plates, five to one. Good looking breaking ball there, 0 and 1. Wearing a bunt, that's foul ball. Good job by the catcher killing it as soon as it went foul. Not allowing it to go back fair. Count goes 0-2. a very high fly ball in the shallow left field. Tracking his left fielder, she makes the play. And there's one away. Now coming to bat, number 21, Megan Armstrong. Here comes Armstrong, who grounded out her last time up, but did hit that three-run homer in game number one. Blooped up in the air. It's going to drop in there. P tough play by the left fielder. Couldn't make the play. And Johnson will have runners on first and second with one away. Go down as a single. That's a tough play. Here comes K. Wood, who flew out her last time. Breaking ball misses outside. One and oh. Breaking ball is hit in the center field. The play is made by the center fielder. And there's two away. Now coming to bat number 10, Ali Dickerson. Comes Dickerson, who was. Walked her last time up. Breaking ball misses one and oh.
This one's hit right at the shortstop. Throws a second, and that'll end this top half of the third. Johnson puts one across. It's 5-1. to one. Casey leads over Johnson. We'll be back on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Back out here on Cool TV, 5-1. to one. KCU leads over Johnson, Tennessee here in game number two of two. In game number one, Johnson defeated KCU 7-6. to six. KCU looking to return the favor in this game. Now coming to bat number 21. Ison will be at the plate. RBI single her last hey. time up. Popped right up in the air, maybe one or two feet in the outfield, and the play is made by the second baseman. One pitch, one out. Now coming to bat, number 16, Tora Bucket. Here is Beckler, struck out her last time. Beckler has played pretty good, though, at the plate in these two games. This one misses. One and oh. This will take a hard hit ball to the third baseman. Takes a weird hop, and Breckler's going to be reach. Not coming to bat. Number three, Lexi Holman. Going to go down as an air. Hallman struck out her last time, but with one on and one out, leading five to one. It's a good looking pitch, 0 and 1. This one also goes strike as it catches the inside part of the plate, 0 and 2. This one hit right to the third base, but throw to second. There's one, throw to first, not in time. So they got the lead runner at second. Here comes Leba, who was hit by a pitcher last time. Some foul. 0 and 1. Long on a miss, count quickly, goes 0-2. This is outside, 1-2. and two.
this one. Hit over to the second baseman, makes the play, throws the first. That ends hitting number three. Way at the top of the fourth, 5-1. KCU leads on Cool TV. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around where does your money go when you bank with us your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan a real estate agent sells a house they get a commission they deposit it with us we use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers hometown people helping each other grow that's what it's all about first and people's bank and trust company member FDIC we are the home office Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start the top half of inning number four, five, one. Up KCU to leads. 30, Ashley Duke. Here comes Duke, who flew out her last time up. Burns sits on deck, and then Hood. Good looking breaking ball. Just misses. What it out. This one's a hard hit ball out in left field. Nice play by the left fielder who tracked it the whole way and ran it down in between her and the center fielder. And there's one away. Now coming to bat number 22, Reese Burns. Burns singled her last time. One for one on the day. We're here in the fourth inning, still trailing by four runs. Got to get something going. This one's a hard hit ball down the left field line. At least another single going to second. And she's safe. So a single and a double for Burns. First pitch swinging. Not coming to bat number 14, Maddie Hood. And here comes Hood. This one's fouled right back at Travis, who once again didn't try to protect the equipment or the announcer. Starting to see where your priorities lay, buddy. <laughs> one and one's the count. This one in the dirt, two and one. Runner on second, one out, one one count. This one's high. Two and one. This one's line drive in the outfield. One hop to the center field, a rounding third, and coming home is Burns and It'll be an RBI single for Hood. Now coming to bat number six, Caitlin Jeffers. And here comes Jeffers as that lead has been cut to three. Who singled her last time and had two stolen bases. Called strike, 0 and 1. Yeah. 
Squire to bot. Counts one to one. This one's a little blooper in the center field. Center fielder comes up and makes the play, and there's two away. Here Not comes Morehouse, who reached on an air last time. It's however you want to score it. I scored as an air, but some people may not. What's this one? This is outside. Want to know? Just about any time the ball hits the glove of an infielder. If has a chance to make a play, you're going to almost always see a score as an air. This one's fouled out of play. Just, hey, somebody made a good catch over there in the uh, KCU fan section or parent section, whichever you want to call it. Counts one on one, two away. Pitch, this one's low. Good job by the catcher blocking that one. 2-1. Two one. Good looking pitch, and this one misses outside. 3-1. Ball is hit right to the first baseman who can't make the play, and everyone's going to stay safe. Score that as an error. Here comes Hampton, who's flown out twice today with two on and two out. Welcome to bat number four, Ella Hampton. Good job by the catcher again. Breaking ball just broke too low. It's one and oh. Swung on a miss. What a good looking breaking ball there. Count to one and one. Hard hit ball right down the third baseline is foul. Very fortunate it was foul because it was scoring two. This one rolled all the way to the fence. Swung on and missed. It should go down on strikes. And that'll end the top half of the fourth. Johnson, Tennessee able to put one more across. It's 5-2 KCU. We'll be back on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. 
If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start the bottom half of any number four, five, two, in case you lead over Johnson, Tennessee. Now I'll come at the bat, number nine, Kylie Mathis. Here comes Mathis. Struck out her last time. I'm living in a 21st century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it. Screams from the haters, got a nice ring to it. I guess every superhero need his theme music. No one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking, I just count the hours. Stop tripping, I'm tripping off. Good looking pitch there, 0 and 1. You can barely see home plate uh, from where I'm at because there's it's I mean completely covered in dirt. Squaring the bunt right down the first baseline. She's gonna reach out and tag her and quickly one away. Now batting number 27, Caitlin Levis. That is Friday. <laughs> Top of the lineup for KCU. Here is Lavis. Hit by a pitch and a triple back in the first. This one's a hard hit ball again. It's going to get in between the center fielder and left fielder. Rounding first and going to second. So she'll have a stand up double. What a game she is having. Now batting number 13, Mallory Alford. Here's Alford. Reached on a fielder's choice earlier in the game. One out, runner on second. Count is 2-0. Oh. Casey trying to add to that three-run lead currently in the bottom half of the fourth. A runner in scoring position. Here's the pitch. And this one misses also. 3-0. Oh. So that miss 3-1. Fouled out of play. Three one. Excuse me. Full count. This one's hitting the outfield. And the runner will hold at third. So runners on now. They got him in the rundown. It's going to be close. They got her. But one run will score. Are they calling the runner at first? Safe? What are they doing here? She's tagged out. I mean, unless they call runner interference, they're going to get her. Okay. Johnson, Tennessee. Coach came out really quickly. I don't blame her. He'll still score a run, though. It's now six to two. Here comes Prince with two outs. Good 
job by the umpires kind of getting together there. He said, you know, my view was blocked as Prince hits this one over to right field deep, 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 and it is caught by the right fielder, and that will end inning number four. We'll head to the top of the fifth. That's Casey, you able to get one more across. Six to two, Knights lead over Johnson, Tennessee. We'll be back on Cool TV. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Back out here on Cool TV, 6-2. to two. Casey leads over Johnson, Tennessee. We have reached the top half of the fifth inning. Now coming to bat, number 21, Megan Armstrong. And here comes Armstrong, who singled her last time. Grounded out back in the first. Breaking ball misses high, 1-0. One and one is the count. So misses. Two and one. Three and one now. This one misses high and inside. This one's a little blooper in the shallow right field, and the center fielder comes Not over and makes the play. 15, Autumn Kingwood. And Armstrong will fly out. Here comes Kaywood, who has flown out two times today. Ball misses high again, 2-0. Oh. <laughs> Count goes 3-0. Oh. With one away here in the top half of the fifth. Three and one. Here on a very sunny 
Saturday afternoon in Grayson, Kentucky. Just right off the campus of Kentucky Christian University at the Grayson Sports Park. And this one's chopped in between the third baseman and the shortstop. So go down as a single for Kaywood. Now coming to bat number 10, Ali Dickerson. On your screen, it looks like, you know what, it'd be a pretty warm day. It's not too bad out. Uh, actually, it's about 48 degrees, and it is. The wind's blowing consistently between 10 and 20, and you'll get gusts between 30 and 40. So it makes the feel-like temperature in the low 40s. It's The elements really haven't played a role, though. I thought it would, but it just hasn't. Good-looking breaking ball. It's this one. Misses 1 0. This one's popped straight up in the air. Center fielder makes the play. So there's two away with a runner on first. Now coming to bat number 30, Ashley Duke. And here comes Duke. Yeah, it looks like. KCU's going to change maybe a little bit of their alignment here. Eight hits on the day for Johnson. Only two have come across the plate, though. Breaking ball misses high, 1-0. Two and one. This one hits straight up the middle. It's going to go all the way to the fence. Going to third and coming home, but they just couldn't get the ball in in time. Took a little bit longer than expected to get the ball in from the outfield. Okay, the bat number 22, Reese Burns. And Johnson's able to put another run across, and it's 6-3 to three now. An RBI single from Duke. And here comes Burns, who has a single and a double today. Ball misses, 1-0. We have time called by Johnson. So I'm going to get a pinch runner for Duke at first. We got a run challenge, number 11 is all in. Carly Toshley. Foul right back, Travis. Didn't flinch that time, I don't think. Did you flinch at all? Okay, he was just watching. Watching it hit our equipment is what you were doing. <laughs> Counts one to one, two away here in the bottom half. Excuse me, the top half of the fifth. And good play there by the second baseman. Just a lightly hit ball in the infield. And that'll end this top of the fifth. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth when we come back here on Cool TV. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. 
Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle for Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Border Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV-compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com back out here on cool tv looks like holt's claw is up rounded out and flow out today This one's a hard hit ball right down the third baseline. And so it'll be a single. Now Good way to start to the and bottom of the Ison. fifth. Here comes Ison with an RBI single back in inning number one. Flew out her last time, though. Looks like we're going to get a maybe a pitch runner over at first. Yeah, number five, Hannah from. Looks like that's from over there going to take first base. Hello, from. Hit straight up in the air in the infield. Play is made by the second baseman. There's one away. Now coming to bat number 16, Tori Beckler. Beckler has been struck out and reached on an error last time. when a fair ball right down the third baseline. Going to third, this is going to be close, and she's in there. It's Fromm at third, so. Now coming to bat number three, Lexi Holman. Here comes Holman with runners on the corners with one out. Come in as one number one, Caitlin Justice. So KCU with a three run lead here in the bottom half of inning number five. Trying to add to it right here. Good opportunity to. Pitch. This one, this is low, one and oh. Two and oh.
Swaying a bun. This bun straight up in the air. Good play by the catcher. And there's two away. Now coming to bat, number 20, Sarah Labor. Three, two. Only way to go. Here comes Labor. Who was hit by a pitch earlier in the game. Swung on and missed, one and one. Two and one. Two twos to count with two away. This one. Foul tip, but caught by the catcher, and that'll end inning number five. We'll head to the top of the six. No damage done. Case you not able to put anything across. They strain two runners. We'll be back on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring in Greenup 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Back out here on Cool TV. Here is Hood and then the top of the lineup for Johnson, Tennessee. you got to think. they got six outs left. This will probably be the last at bat for this team if they're not able to get anything across. And allow KCU to go back to the bottom half of the sixth. This one's hard hit right to the shortstop who fields it, throws the first quickly. One away. One pitch, one Number out. The bat. Number six, Caitlin Jeffries. So top of the lineup. Jeffers is struck out, had two stolen bases, a single, but flew out her last time. This is 1 0. Squires a bunt. This one's going to die right in front of the third base with no play, no throw at all. And she'll be on with an infield single. Audrey Morehouse. Here's Morehouse. So 
One on, one out. Morehouse at the plate. Here's the pitch, squaring the bunt. Runner goes, throw down a second, not in time. Another stolen base. Runner at second, a runner in scoring position with one out. Here's the pitch. It's a bunt. It's in no man's land. There's no play again. So runners on the corners now with one out. I think that goes down as another infield single. Here comes Hampton. Time's going to get called here. Part of the lineup coming up for the Royals. You gotta think if they're gonna make a move, it happens right here. goes. She's in there easily. No throw. So runners on second and third. With only one out. Counts 1-0. and oh. KC with a three-run lead. Oh, what a good breaking ball. Count goes 1-1. One one. Wearing the bunt, and it's a foul ball. Two. Here's the pitch. Swung on him, miss. There's two away. Hampton goes down on strikes, and here comes Armstrong, who Knocked grounded out singles and Armstrong. flew out her last time. Time is called. Time has been called. Right now would be a great opportunity to sweep off home plate because you can't see it. to three, two away. Here's Armstrong. Here's the pitch. This is inside, one and up. This one's blooped up in the air and the second baseman makes the play. So no runs on two hits for Johnson, Tennessee. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Casey, you still up three. You're on Cool TV. 
Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. JSP Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with a vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSP Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. Back out here on Cool TV, we've reached the bottom half of any number six. KCU would love to add to their three run lead right now. First pitch misses outside, 1 0. This one called strike, 1-1. One one. Count goes 1-2. One This is two and two. This one's a little grounder over the second baseman who crowds it, throws the first, there's one away. Now coming to bat number 27, Caitlin Lavis. Here comes Lavis. Thank God it's Friday. Keep the heads ringing. Keep the heads ringing. This one misses. One and oh on the breaking ball. A hard hit ball in the center field, tracking as a center fielder all the way back, just a couple of steps in front of the wall, makes the catch, and there's two away. Now coming to bat, number 13, Mallory Alford. Here's Alford. Good reach on a fielder's choice back at inning number one. Played very well, especially at the plate and in the field. So, but two away. Here in the bottom half of the sixth. This one misses low. One and oh. This one blooped up in the air to the center fielder who's underneath it and makes a play. And Johnson, Tennessee will have three outs in the top half of the seventh and to get at least three. KCU completely content with that, not letting that happen. So we'll see how it all unfolds when we come back here on Cool TV.
At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb strives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Back out here on Cool TV. Johnson, Tennessee is down to their final three outs. They need three runs. At the plate will be Kaywood, who has flown out, flown out, and singled. So one for three thus far. Now coming to bat number 15, Autumn Kaywood. This one's golfed in the left field. And it gets past the left fielder. So Kaywood will be on with a stand-up double to begin the top half of the seventh. And there comes Dickerson, who flew out her last time. 0 for 2 on the day, grounded out back in the third. Excuse me, the fourth. Breaking ball, misses low, 1-0. and oh. 2-0. and oh. Three and out now. This one misses. So two on with no out now. Here comes Duke. Now coming to bat number 30, Ashley Duke. Tom called, maybe it, trying to calm down the pitcher just a little bit. Six to three, still the score, no outs, two on. Duke will be at the plate. This is high, one and oh. Two and oh, so the last six pitches have been balls.
This was a hard hit ball. It's going to get in between the shortstop and third baseman. So to go down as a single, no damage done, though, but the bases will be yeah, loaded with no outs. Looks like some activity over in the KCU bullpens going on, though. Got a pitch runner for Duke. Looks like that is number eight, Baldridge. Number eight is now on first base. Sloan Baldridge. So Burns will step to the plate, who has singled and doubled in today's contest. Flew out her last time at bat. If the ball's hitting in the infield, you get the for sure out if, at home. If you can't get at home, you throw it to first. And you can just tap any base. I think that's important to note, too. In case you trying to avoid this comeback effort from Johnson for this first Pitch is a breaking ball called strike. 0 and 1. So this is low. Oh, they're going to call it a strike. 0 and 2. One two pitch. Swung on and missed. Burns goes down on strikes. No batting. Here comes Hood, who grounded Hood. out her last time. This one's. Hit right to the first baseman who bobbles it, bobbles it, and everyone's going to be safe. The run will come across, and the lead is now down to two. Six to four with one away. Can't can't allow that to happen. you got to make the play there, help a pitcher out. And top of the lineup now for Johnson. Here comes Jeffers, who struck out, stole two bases, has a single, Two singles and a fly out. This will be our fifth at bat. This one's hit right to the pitcher. Throw home. Got the force out. Very smart play. Now there's two away. Here comes Morehouse, who singled her last time up. Now coming to bat number five, Audrey Morehouse. This one's hit foul. <laughs> Quickly, the count goes 0-2. Casey one strike away from winning this game. Two pitch with two outs. This one misses. One and two. <laughs> this one's hit foul down the third baseline. The 
This one's hit over in the left field. It's going to get down. It scores one. It scores two. We're tied. Tied at six. Now coming to bat number four, Ella Hampton. And here comes Hampton. Swung on a missed, 0 and 1. Casey was one strike away from. Ending the game instead, Johnson, Tennessee, on a two RBI single, has tied this thing at six in the top half of the seventh. This one's fouled off. Count goes 0 and 2. Yeah, that was right towards our first base cameraman, Ian Farmer. So. Low and in the dirt. Count goes one and two. This one fouled off. This one's a hard hit ball in the left field. Tracking is a left fielder, and that'll end this half of the seventh inning. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh. Casey, you need to get one across to win it here on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Back out here on Cool TV, we're in the bottom half of the seventh. We're all tied at six. Looks like Prince will be up. You need to get one across here so they can just now coming to bat number not worry about 17, AC playing Prince. an extra inning or two or three. the pitch outside 1 and 0 
misses. Two and out. This one's swung on and foul. This one called strike, two and two. This one's a hard hit ball in the left field. Left fielder makes the play. Now coming to bat number 28, Jaron Holtzclaw. Here comes Holtzclaw. He singled her last time up. to the second baseman who underhanded throw to first and there's two away quickly. Now coming to bat number 21, Hannah Eisen. Here's Eisen. Tuna. Count goes to one. Those two and two. Johnson feels like they have all the momentum right now. One strike away from sending this to the eighth inning. This one's popped straight up in the air. Left fielder underneath it and makes the play. That's the end of the seventh inning. So we'll go to the top of the eighth when we come back here on Cool TV. Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Back out here on Cool TV, we're in the top of the eighth inning. All tied at six. And here is Armstrong. Who's grounded out, flew out, doubled and singled today. we 
squares the button. This one misses low, one and oh. Squares the bunt, bunt right down the third baseline. That is foul. One and one is the count. This one hit right to second base when he makes a heck of a play. Comes up and throws the first, but it's not in time. Good play by the second baseman. It's just not in time. Armstrong runs that one out. That'll go. That's going to infield Start single. Number 15, Autumn Kaywood. Here's Kaywood. Doubled her last time. This one's hit straight up in the air. Tracking is a shortstop. She's going to hand this one off to the left fielder who makes the play. There's one away. Now coming to that, number 10, Ali Dickerson. And here is Dickerson. He has walked, grounded out, and flown out. And a 6-6 tie here in the top of the eighth inning. This one called strike, 0-1. This one hit into left field, and it's down for a base hit. Everyone will be safe. It'll go down as a single. Now coming to bat number eight, Sloan Baldridge. And here is Baldridge. Where's the bud? It's right in front of the catcher who throws the first. There's now two outs, but the runners advance. Now coming to bat, number 22, Reese Burns. And here is Burns, who does have a single and double today, including a really good shot in between the gap and that double. So. Striking ball in there for strike one. This one's a hard hit ball in the left field. Left fielder is tracking, and that'll end this half of the inning. We'll head to the bottom of inning number eight here on Cool TV. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. 
the bat, number 16. Back out here, cool TV. Here is Breckler. you need to get they can walk it off with any type of run across the plate here this one misses outside one to know gotta think how many more times you're going to keep Johnson Tennessee scoreless in the top half of innings you're gonna have to get something across the plate Casey has been scoreless since the fourth inning this one inside two and0. This one hit hard to the shortstop who makes a really good play. Throw it a first one away. Now coming to bat number three, Lexi Holman. This one's golfed in the center field. Center fielder makes the play quickly. Two away. Next to bat, number 20, Sarah Leba. Here is Leba. Only way to go. You already know this. And so. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. This one chopped right up the middle. Second baseman makes a play, throw to first. That'll end the bottom of the eighth. We'll head to the top of the ninth when we come back here on Cool TV. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Back out here on Cool TV. We're in the top of the ninth. Extra innings. So at the plate should be number 14, Hood. Now coming to bat, number 14, Maddie Hood. Squares the button right back to the pitcher who easily throws it to first. There's one away. And it looks like no, the top the of the lineup. Six, Jeffers. Jeffers, who has struck out, single twice, and flown out. This will be her sixth at bat. Squares the butt. This one misses, one and up. So this is also two and oh. Mm -hmm. 
This one bloops right into the infield, and it's going to fall down. It'll go down as another air. And Jeffers will be safe at first, and here comes Morehouse. Not coming to, not coming to bat number five, Aldrin Morehouse. This one misses high. Going off for second is Jeffers, and she's there easily with one out. <laughs> so go ahead, run it second. With one away, here's the pitch. It's going to be blooped into the outfield. And now. Johnson will have runners on the corners with one out. Here comes Hampton. Bunts laid down and got it out at home. Good play there by the third baseman and the pitcher and the catcher all kind of communicating there. Got the runner out at home. So runners on first and second. Right now at the plate is Armstrong. Here's the pitch. This one misses high, 1-0, two away. This one's hit hard in the center field and the center fielder makes the catch. What a play by the center fielder, and that'll end the top of the ninth. We'll head to the bottom of the ninth when we come back here on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle from Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Back out here on Cool TV. All right, just start the bottom of the ninth inning. I'll tell you what, Travis, we're testing our batteries and our equipment. We'll just need Casey to walk it off here and not, not have to worry about it. Here is Mathis. Of course, this will be technically the 17th inning or 16th inning that we've called today, so. Here's the pitch, this one called strike, 0-1-1. Oh, so this is 1-1. Oh,
So foul. One and two. Fouled away also. Bob of the ninth, one two count, zero outs. Mathis is at the plate. This one fouled away. This one hit straight up the middle, right to the second base. When he throws the first, there's one away. Now coming to bat, number 27, Caitlin Levis. Back to the top of the lineup for the Lady Knights is Levis. Who does have a double, a triple, and was hit by a pitch. Want to know? This one's hard hit ball in the right field. Underneath, there's a right fielder who makes the play, and there's two away. Now coming to bat number 13, Mallory Alford. Alfred at the plate. This one misses, one and oh. This is a hard hit ball right to the second base when he throws the first and we'll head to inning number 10. When we come back here on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup, 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter.
to apologize. So runner on second. For Johnson, which would be the go-ahead run. No matter what, Casey will see the plate. Again. At the plate right now for Johnson is number 15, K. Wood, who does have a double and a single in the contest today. This one hit straight in the air. Catcher right underneath it makes the play. Now coming to bat number 10, Ali Dickerson. Here comes Dickerson with one away, a runner in scoring position. count here in the top of the 10th. Here's the pitch. Bunt laid down. Throw to first in time, but the runner will advance to third. Not going to call, him, call her safe. Ooh. Maybe it was bobbled. It's the only thing I can think of. Not coming to bat number eight. Solon Baldridge. And here's Baldridge at the plate. was called. Maybe the coach for KCU came out and was disputing that call. The only thing I could think of was the ball was bobbled at first base. Because the throw beat the runner. So runners on the corners right now for Johnson, Tennessee with one out. And Baldridge at the plate. Strike call, so 0-2. Oh this one hits straight up the middle. Shortstop makes the play. One run will score, though. Everybody's safe. Coming to bat, number 22, Reese Burns. And here comes Burns with runners on the corners, only one away. This one called strike, 0-1. So 
this one pop foul. So count goes 0-2 with one away here in the top of the 10th inning. Originally scheduled for seven. This is the second game of a doubleheader. Johnson has put one across here in the top half of the inning. They do have runners on the corners. This one hit right back at the pitcher. Hopefully she's all right. Everybody's going to be safe again. Another run scores. Time is called. They're going to kind of check on her. I think it went off her throwing hands. They're going to kind of see what's going on here. Make sure she's all right. She's, I think she's telling them she's all right, which is a good sign. Now eight to six, runners on the corners, only one away. 19 hits in the game for Johnson. This one misses everything, throw to third, not in time. So the, now two runners in scoring position for Johnson. Looking to get back-to-back -back wins over KCU. This one misses. 2 0. No. No, 1 0. No. Oh, he called it a strike. So it's 1 0. This one misses. 2 and 1. This one's popped straight up in the air. It's not going to leave the infield. Shortstop, tough play, makes the play. And the runners will stay put. So there's two away. Not here in the top of the 10th. And here comes Jeffers for her seventh at bat. Does have a three singles, two stolen bases, a strikeout, a fly out. Time is called. Intentionally walk Jeffers and bring up Morehouse. Now coming to bat number five, Audrey Morehouse. So I guess they're just trying to get a force out of any bag. That's the only thing I could think of. A little strategy in it. As she hits this one foul down the first baseline.
This one also foul. So the count goes 0 and 2 with two away. KCU needs to get out of this top half of the 10th without allowing any more damage to be done. They're going to need at least two here in the bottom of the 10th. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Good looking pitch there. Way to the bottom of the 10th. Lady Knights need two here on Cool TV. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle for Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com Back out here Grayson Sports Park Grayson, Kentucky just outside the campus of Kentucky Christian University Here comes Prince KCU needs two to tie it this one golfed in the left field. It'll go down as a base hit. Now coming to bat number 28, Jared Hosball. So KC will have two on with one out. I must have missed something. Did we miss a batter? Did we miss a batter? Okay, so. Okay. The rules in NAI, I was, un I was unaware. So they start with a runner on second. This one called strike, 0 and 1. So tying runs at first. This one misses, 1 and 1. This one doesn't miss. One and two. Come on, Jared. Come on, Jared. This one's hit, and it's going to get through. One run will score. Still no outs. So the winning run's at first base. Coming to bet, number 21, Hannah Ison. Here comes Ison with the winning run at first base and no outs.
I'm called. There's some dirt got in the eyes of the shortstop for Johnson. She's okay. So the winning runs at first base for KCU. The tying runs at second. Fouled right back at Travis. He flinched just the slightest bit that time. You don't think I didn't see that at the corner of my eye? <laughs> Eight to seven. This one hit up in the air. Second baseman calls everyone off and makes the play. There's one away. Not coming to bat, number 16, Tori Beckler. And here comes Breckler. The runner from second has to score, or the game is over. If the runner from first and second score, the game is over. This one misses, 1-0. This one popped up, and it's barely going to stay in play, and it is foul. One and two the count now. This one misses, two and two. Strike three called. Johnson, Tennessee is one third strike, but umpire saying he only had two two. Two two's the count, one away. Tying run at second. Here's the pitch. This one's fouled away. Almost ran down with the right fielder. Two, two, one out. Bottom of the 10th, fouled away again.
This one hits straight up the middle to the shortstop, touches second over to first. The double play, and the game is over. Johnson, Tennessee has defeated KCU 8-7 to seven in 10 innings. We'll take a break, and we'll be back on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle from Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Once again, Johnson has defeated KCU 8-7. I want to thank Travis Saltworth and Ian Farmer for being out here in the freezing cold. I've lost every bit of heat in my body. I know you're cold, too, because you've been shaking like I have. And so is uh, Ian over on first base. So for everybody here at Cool Hits, we want to thank KCU for allowing us to come out here and do this. This has been a presentation of Cool TV. Thank you for watching another KCU Night Softball broadcast live on Cool TV. This broadcast of Kentucky Christian University softball has been an exclusive sports presentation of the Cool Hit Sports Network and Cool TV.